How you guys doing today? Sean Wilson with you, live. Glad to see you guys today. I always love being live with you guys. A certain type of energy you get when it's live. Um, and uh, so yeah, just glad to be with you guys today. Make your comments, make your comments. I love interacting with you guys in the comments. So uh, if you got something to say, let me know. If you have a question, do me a favor, put a cue by, um, put a cue before your question. That way I can say a cue and then a space. Put your question in there. Maybe we can try to get it going. Folks, I got a choir rehearsal to get to <laughs> right after this. Like most of you guys have choir rehearsal, I do too. So uh, I can't stay till whenever I want. I gotta make this quick and, and get out of here. So let's listen to the song. Oh, by the way, Ezra, man, shout out to you, man. I'm playing your version uh, in the background right now on this beautiful blue keyboard, man. <laughs> so it's looking nice over there, man. So fellow instructor out there, y'all check him out. Good job, man. All right, so we're here to hear um, John Peter's version of this. So what we're gonna get right to the video and uh, thank everybody again for coming and let's get right to it. folks so let's let's look at this man so what we're gonna do we're gonna start from the top and then uh, we're gonna take this and break it down for you guys and uh, we watch the video together and you guys know why we're here um, when a musician a high-level musician has chords and we like what they do and we like what they sound like we want those chords in our plan and so that's the reason why you're here so I can help you bridge that gap to make sure that what you're hearing you can play that also but we need to understand what he's doing so let's start from the top and uh, I'm going to take it frame by frame and see what we can do. Let me go back from the top again. Um, let me listen to that first part. Oh, uh, yeah. So I, I man, I agree. I agree with you. Uh, I agree with you, man. It is kind of <laughs> it's a little bit more. It's definitely more difficult because you got to add that pedal. Um, so let's start from the top there. See what he has going on. So basically you have that. And uh, let me let me go back because now I don't forgot what he played. <laughs> Oh, okay. So. And then he has this chord right here. So this flat nine, this flat nine, flat five. I actually talked about that um, in one of my videos and I'm trying to remember which one it was. I believe I talked about it. Yeah, it was this one the flat nine, flat five passing chord. So if you wanna know more about that video, then you guys check that out because that's the chord that he's using there as that passing chord uh, to, get to, the, to get to the E flat, okay? Let me go back. See that? All right, now let me keep on going.
Okay, so that part there, he's definitely changing that up a lot. Uh, he's going, now in the original version it goes, but he's going, he's going to a diminished chord there. Listen to that part there. See that? So he has a diminished chord there instead. Let's keep on going. Uh, now, now, when he goes, he goes, um, now check this out. Uh. Someone's gonna say, what, what's going on with that chord there? Sean must have really good ears. It's not really that, guys. It's if it, Look at that. No, 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 not right there. I'm gonna watch the fingers. <laughs> See, if, if his fingers are on it. There he goes. Uh, try it again. I'm gonna try to stop. See, you look at that. You got an A flat. You can tell in his left hand, if you're looking at it, he's playing that diminished chord there. And then another diminished chord in the right hand. So you have crazy chord there. G on the bottom makes it a G13 there, right? Flat nine sharp 11. So he has this. And then. Ooh. And then this passing chord goes to the C, a C minor. And then he does some crazy after that, check it out. That part there. So that part there, I taught that um, this chord as well. Um, go search in Google, inverted dominant. So he, what he's doing in this chord here, he's using the inverted dominant to approach the B flat 13 sus. Okay, so he's using it as an approach. All right, love this live. I see the comments, y'all. Thanks, man. Oh, oh man. <laughs> All right, so that part there, so. That part, that chord there, I don't know if he meant to have that E in there, he may not have, so if, I may not play with it. So yeah, so I'm not gonna play with the E. So I'm gonna go, watch this. Okay, you can get this on the replay. Now, if you're watching this, you can definitely get this on the replay. We're doing this live right now, All right? So keep on going. First, I gotta rewind that, man. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, my goodness. I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to... <laughs> I'm trying to manage all these things at one time, I'm trying to figure out what's going on. I got three screens, man. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna get it together. So anyway, um, what did you do? Dun, 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 dun. Um, but I got. I think I'm. I think I'm too far. Hold on. Y'all stay. With, thanks for being patient with me, folks. Oh, that's part. That's right. Yeah. That's the part right there. Okay, so, so, da 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 da. And now he goes to a C sharp there. And then from here, he goes to a B flat minor. And then he goes to an, what sounds like an E flat, uh, flat nine. 
and then and then for the blah he goes and right that's what he's doing there let me play it so you can hear it And then the next part after that. Let me hear. The guy, the guy in the background, he likes half diminished chords because every time he goes to that half diminished chord, he goes. Um, He's like, right, right. He he likes the he likes the minor seven flat five. He likes the hat, bro. Whoever you are in that video, you like you like half the minute scores, man. <laughs> but uh, let me go backwards and see what he's doing. There. So so he's using the F nine thirteen there. And then after that, well, that, I had to stop right after that chord because that's a difficult chord there. But if you look at his hand placement on the video, you see him hitting a C and a C sharp. See that C sharp there on the organ? And the hand is blocking the rest of the chord, so my ear had to pick that up. But that's what it looks like the chord is. And then, and so, and then from here, he just goes to the minor seven flat five, which is really just changing this uh, D flat to an E flat. That's it. And then have a, throw an A at the bottom. It's right, it's, you're already there. And right here. Okay, and then, So, so now he's at the F, F9, and then he goes back to the same chord, okay? Um, I'm, I'm not sure about that, because you'd have to, that, that's a vague question. Um, that's a vague question there, so I'm not sure if you're talking about a specific chord there um, for that, for the Quinnell video, uh, so I'm not that quite sure, but um, let me go on. Let me start to, let me go from the top and see if we can kind of, because I think that's the rest of the video. Let me just make sure. Oh man, I, I didn't do that part. Um, I'm thinking about something now because, so remember I told you earlier when, when we started and we went, remember this flat nine, flat five chord there? Okay, and I told you to go study that video on my YouTube channel if you get a chance. But this same chord voicing is being kind of used or you can use it here at the beginning when you go, Um, oh, here. See, there it is right there. So there's a, there's the voicing again, flat nine, flat five. See, so it's used as passing chord. And it's, it's the five. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, because it looks like, I'm, it looks like the time it looks like it's getting a little bit late, so I'm gonna try to play it all the way through um, with the chords that I can remember, 
and then we'll call it a day. Thanks everybody for coming. Hold on. Back to me now. It, it was See, he said, this is the reason I put the title of the video. He said it's coming back to me, <laughs> which means he was just kind of fooling around with the song. So when you when you see that thumbnail, that's why I said it was his first time. That was just me goofing off. But let me uh, let me play this from the top. And um, if I if I I'm gonna try to play the chords that I heard from the top, and then if I need help, if I don't remember something, I'll go back to the video. And that way, those of you who are watching this on the replay or, or right now, you can get these chords this way. The flat 955. And then he doesn't do this twice. In the original song, it does it twice. Maybe the guy in the, that was recording didn't pick up the first time. And then he goes to a diminished here. And he has this uh, D, D flat, D so. Then he has this move here. And then he does. Oh, this is a part. Something like that. Think into this. And then. Um, no, 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 no. He goes to the F chord. And then. Now I'm doing it differently. And then. Anyway, all right guys, I think that's it um, for today. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you enjoyed the lesson and let me also speak to those of you who are already on my website too because I wanna make sure I say something to you guys. Um, in order to play at a high level, just remind, I'm reminding you, you need two things, right? You need two things. So what you're gonna need is both um, prerequisite skills, right? And you also need to memorize songs. So on the YouTube channel, that's what we have. We have songs for you to memorize because for most of us, if you're playing a song and then there's something that a, a really good musician plays, like a top musician plays, um, you have to know the chords they're playing in order to memorize it. So this is why I break down songs for you on the YouTube channel, all right? But what you also need is requisite skills. And what do I mean by that? I mean the, the foundation skills that are gonna make you a great ear pianist. So for instance, like if you're playing, flying a plane or something, you know, you're gonna have to learn the basics on what to do. And then you gotta actually get out there and fly the thing, right? So you have to have both of those things. You gotta have the skills and you have the foundation knowledge and you also have to have um, practice. Now, listen, I have, I think, that, what video is it? Yeah, this video right here, let me, let me put, you, put it on the screen real quick. On this video right here, I teach you guys, it's my YouTube video, just put in, type in the YouTube video and say five music stages and you'll see, okay, here's what you need to know in order to be, um, in order to be playing at a high level, right? And so that will teach you that. Now, if you're on the website, that's for, those, that's for those of you who are on YouTube. If you're on the website, then we go further because you want you to go to these MIDI files. And then what you do is you find the song that's on your level. I already have Give Me a Clean Heart here. And I want you to understand something. These are advanced, like if you're advanced, you just do your advanced songs here, you know, a bunch of advanced songs there. Um, and if you want beginner songs, you got beginner songs. But if you look at all of them, look at how Give Me a Clean Heart, it says all levels. The reason is that all levels is because right before I went live, I played this whole song like a beginner. So for those of you who are like, oh, Sean, be teaching all the advanced. And 
I, I, I strip it down, okay? Because a lot of times it's harder to play at the advanced level unless we know how, you know, what they did to get there. So I play the song like a beginner and I move up the levels all the way up to, so you could understand what uh, John Peters is doing. And then one other thing real quick before I go. I'm not gonna be late for choir rehearsal and I'm not about to uh, get fired for you guys. Uh, but hold on, <laughs> if you go up here and you look at roadmaps, it, the idea is that these are the skills I was telling you about. You need to learn the skills and then you need to learn the songs. So these work in conjunction with each other. So those of you who are on the website, you know, if you're a beginner, then what you do is you, te you, you learn the song at a beginner level and then you come over to the roadmap and you study the beginner skills. This is the way that you grow. Okay, so I'm just kind of wanted to make sure you guys understand that. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it, guys. And let me go back to my uh, thing here. Mike, I can't see my point. I can't see my finger pointer. <laughs> All right, folks. That's it. All right, man. Thanks, everybody. Again, let me look at some of these comments. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Cheryl. Thank you so much. Uh, looks like we got. Yeah, man, I got I got rehearsal today. <laughs> you just turned in. Welcome, bro. Just looking through the comments, trying to see if there's anything I, need, I didn't get to answer. Uh, yeah. Y'all, make sure you do me a favor. Please like the video. That helps to push the video out to more people. Share the video. Leave a comment as well. And thank you again. And I think that's it. Okay. All right, folks. We done, man. Thanks again for coming. I kind of like this beat, though. <laughs> it's nothing like the live, but I like this beat. I like this beat. I should, I should transcribe this. <laughs> All right, y'all. Take care, man. See y'all later.